Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Insurance Experts. It's my pleasure to have online Brian Byers. Brian is an aging planning expert. He's an expert in life insurance, annuities, and long-term care. So thanks for joining us on the show today. Thanks, Mark. I really appreciate the invitation. So you obviously have expertise in a lot of different areas. How did you get into the aging planning world? Well, our clients really pushed us into it. So we, I've been uh, working with retirees for over 25 years. And as they continue to age, they started dealing with a lot of these different challenges from nursing home to assisted living, Medicaid, VA benefits. And so during our annual meetings, they would always bring these challenges and we just would dive as deep as we could in the research. Yeah. And you know, why I, I kind of love this business as a professional is that there are so many complexities to it, but in a way, every client situation is so different. How do you kind of, you know, narrow out the different solutions for clients as you, as you work with them? Well, like you said, I mean, everybody's unique and everybody has their own sets of challenges and their own goals and what they want to accomplish. So when we work with someone, we sit down and just have that conversation with them and find out what, it, what do you really want to achieve and what's the best way to get uh, go down that path. Okay. And I know today we want to talk a little bit about what's the optimal source of funds to fund some of these aging plans and situations that come up with crisis planning. So tell us a little bit about first about, you know, qualified funds versus non-qualified funds and what's kind of the general rule of thumb about what you should use in these situations. Well, um, you know, qualified funds being anything from like an IRA to a 401k account, something you have not paid taxes on yet, in my opinion, is, is could be the best money to spend first. Non-qualified assets, savings, things you've already paid taxes on that maybe put in a bank CD, I would set those aside for last and for the sole purpose of you're missing some great tax deductions. Very interesting. And I think that's counterintuitive. A lot of people out there, what they have been trained on is you want to defer the taxes as long as possible. So you use your qualified funds before, or your, sorry, your non-qualified funds before your qualified funds. You're right. actually saying the opposite. Exactly. Uh, and why, So why is that more tax efficient? Well, ultimately, um, and, it's, and it's, the, it's the thing that we've been brainwashed for forever is that taxes are bad. And taxes are not great. They're very emotional when you have to pay them. But ultimately, when you have your regular income coming in, so we'll just take a hypothetical situation of someone that makes $40,000 a year with Social Security and a small pension, and they have $80,000 or $85,000 a year they're spending in assisted living or maybe a nursing home, that extra $40,000 uh, could be taken out of their qualified funds. The whole eighty dollars or $85,000 is 100% tax deductible in most cases. So you're at back at a zero tax basis that you're having to pay at the end of the year, and it's all taxable income. Interesting. And so what gives it this tax deductibility? Exactly where are you taking this tax deduction when you do this for clients? Under the medical deduction portion of your, your uh, itemized uh, return. I see. So if you exceed a certain threshold of your income, correct, then you get to take this tax deduction. It's economically valuable. Yeah. Currently, if you're a retiree, you get about a $13,000 standard deduction, a married couple 26. But if you're spending 60, 70, $80,000 a year in medical deductions, it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and do an itemized uh, tax return. Right. And most people in CPAs may have not even experienced that because oftentimes these very high expenses are occurring at the end of their lives. So they've never seen it before coming into play, but there's obviously an economic benefit to doing it this way. Yeah. We actually had a client come in a couple of months ago that a uh, son was a CPA we started going through, he had set up a trust for his parents. We said, put all the non-qualified assets in the trust, um, had started going through some other resources that might be available to him in the future. And we said, start spending the IRA money. And as soon as we did that, you almost seem like this, this angry look come over his face. <laughs> and he was like, that's going to create all these taxes. And I'm like, but think about the tax deduction for the medical expenses. And he went blank for about a second and he apologized and he said, I'm a CPA, I should know better. And I said, it's okay. I mean, you're you're emotionally involved with this. And as a matter of fact, since then, he's actually sent us some great referrals to work with some of his own clients. Yeah, it's very interesting. You know, we, we get focused on the tax deferral aspect because you've created this plan a long time ago to do that. But then you kind of forget that a tax deduction or a tax credit might even be better than the deferral aspect of what you're doing in your original plan. Especially for the children, because once... Once the parents pass away, if there's two or $300,000 in that IRA account and there's one or two, three children, that's a huge tax windfall on them on top of their current income. 
So if you've got $500,000 in a pot and $250,000 is not going to be taxable because it's non-qualified money and $250,000 is taxable because it's qualified money, spend the taxable money now and claim the deductions and leave the $250,000 that is tax-free or, or less taxes uh, to the children as an inheritance. They will be very thankful for that. Well, thanks for you know being a guest on the episode today. I'm sure we're going to talk about a lot more in the future, given all your expertise in different areas of aging planning. Uh, and we hope to have you on a future edition. Absolutely. Thanks, Mark.